Hi guys, welcome back. Now I'm going to be doing a mini declutter in this video and I wanted to get this video done before I do my mid-year makeup inventory check-in video. Now there's only going to be four products in this video that I'm going to be talking about that I'm going to be decluttering. But the thing is, I have decluttered them in my mind I've decluttered them but because I haven't done it yet on camera on video for you guys I keep forgetting that they've not been officially decluttered so that's really why I want to do this video get these products out of my collection tick them off my makeup inventory list so that way in a few weeks time when it comes to doing my halfway through the year makeup inventory check-in video I know that they have been officially officially decluttered so all of these products that I'm going to be talking about I have include either in videos such as Shop My Stash or Four Weeks for Lipsticks. So I have tried them recently and they just haven't worked for me. I don't really want them in my collection anymore so I'm going to declutter them. Also I've parted my hair on the opposite side today. I usually part it this side so it feels really weird. And also just in case you're wondering, this really blonde bit of hair here it's not a dodgy highlight, it is completely natural. For some reason, I don't know what it's called, but I just have a really naturally light blonde section of hair about here. It's like um, X-Men, I can't remember the, the character's name, but it's the, the girl who can't touch anybody because she takes their powers and she has those like white blonde strips there. And I've just got my back here, so this isn't a dodgy highlight, this is natural. Okay, let's start off with a face product then. And this is my e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. And I think it was my most recent Shop My Stash that I included this product in. And I also showed you guys this product in my full face of e.l.f. makeup. I will link it here if you've not seen it. And it's actually a really pretty colour. It's kind of like a rose gold colour. And in my full face of e.l.f makeup I put this on my eyes and it looked really really pretty but I have other eyeshadows that I can get this same effect with but as an actual highlighter it's really quite poor now when you buy this product you have to scrape off the top layer of product because otherwise you're not going to get any pigmentation and I did do that but the thing is this is just so poorly pigmented it's so barely there it's quite a frustrating formula to work with now I don't like a blinding highlighter so in theory I should actually like this highlighter and get on with it but I just find it really frustrating I'd much rather have a really pigmented highlighter and use just a small amount rather than lots of this and really try and build up the cover now it is a shame because it is a really lovely color it's just you don't get much pigmentation at all like I say, it's really frustrating to work with. So based on all of those things, I am going to declutter it. And I think I have, I have three more highlighters, separate highlighters like this, and about another five, five or six in a palette. So I have more highlighters than I need. And highlighter isn't really a product that I enjoy wearing much of anymore. So I definitely don't need to be holding onto highlighters that, in my opinion, perform poorly so this one is officially decluttered moving on to eyes and in particular single eyeshadows now single eyeshadows is a category of my makeup collection my makeup inventory that i own too many products from i think i have about 24 24 or 23 so it is a category that i really want to work on reducing this year and the one makeup single that i want to get rid of is this kiko one here and I did include it in a recent Shop My Stash. And it's a bit of a barely there shade. I'm not really sure if you can see that on my hand there. But it is a kind of dusky pink. But it just doesn't really show up too much. Like I say, it's a barely there colour. It's a bit of a, a bit of a pointless colour in my opinion. It doesn't really do much for my eyes. Now Kiko eyeshadows themselves are really pigmented, they're really easy to blend, but it's just that this colour doesn't really work for me, so I don't really see any point in holding on to this shade. And it's quite a nice square pan that fits into this little palette here, so I'm going to take this one out and instead put in another Kiko single that I have. But yeah, a very meh shade, doesn't really do much, and I kind of completely forgot that I owned it, so this one is going to be decluttered. And then final two products, like I said, I've only got four products that I'm talking about in this mini declutter video, but the last two are both lipsticks. And again, lipsticks is a collection of my makeup inventory that is 
a little bit big and it's one that I want to be working on reducing the numbers of and I have very nearly come to the end of my four weeks for lipsticks series so I have worked my way through all of the lipsticks that I own and I think in my previous declutter video I got rid of my Blake L'Oreal red lipstick and I have identified another lipstick that I want to get rid of and I've actually already gotten rid of the lipstick but there is some left in the tube so I'll just show you here but this is NYX Minimalism and this is like a more blue based version of Faux by MAC which is my favourite ever lipstick but the reason I don't like this one is because it is too blue it's too blue for me, it's too cool toned for me it's incredibly glossy so it doesn't stay on your lips for very long at all and the smell is just really sickly I think it's vanilla based but it's incredibly sickly I don't want to be having something this sickly sweet on my lips and if I want a blue based pink lipstick I'm gonna go for faux it's a much more flattering color on me really pigmented really long lasting and because it's a satin finish you have that kind of mostly matte appearance but it's quite comfortable whereas with this this doesn't stay on your lips for very long at all so it's easily transferred and the least favourite shade out of my NYX collection, so an easy declutter option for me. And then the last item I want to declutter is a, another lipstick, like I said, and this is a lipstick that's in my current four weeks for lipsticks rotation. And it is a MAC lipstick, and it is this one here called Whirl. I will swatch it on my hand for you. And this is a matte, yes, a matte formulation, but in my opinion, this is far too cool toned, far too dark and just really grungy on me. I put up a couple of stories on Instagram the other day when I had it on and it looked like I was ready for Halloween. It was a beautifully sunny day and it looked like my makeup was suitable for a grungy Halloween-y look. It gave my teeth a really weird green yellowy tinge so not a flattering shade at all it drains all of the color from my face it, it, it just looks horrible i'll actually put it on for you okay i've just applied it do you see what i mean this lipstick on me is horrible and i'm really surprised because whirl is one of their most well known their most famous lipstick shades but it just doesn't work on me i don't know whether i'm whether i'm too pale whether I'm too warm toned for this lipstick, I just can't seem to make it work and I think it just looks horrible. And I bought this lipstick because this was suggested as a dupe for the Soph Syrup lipstick with Revolution. Now Soph Syrup is a orangey peachy brown nude. Actually, let me just go and swatch it on my hand. There it is, that lighter shade here. So you can see that is not a dupe for this so shade at all in the slightest now I wanted a dupe for that so shade because I really love the color but the formulation is quite glossy so I asked on a couple of makeup groups and a few people said well by Mac and from the swatches that I saw online I thought yeah this could possibly pass as a dupe so I bought it and as you can see it's just it's, it's far too dark far far too dark to work as a dupe for syrup if anything it's more of a dupe for fudge but this this is just far too dark for me. I'm not comfortable wearing this shade of lipstick at all. Like I say, I think it looks horrible and I'm just really itching to take it off. So again, another easy declutter item for me. So there we go. Those are the four items that I am decluttering. So a very short, very mini declutter video for you guys. But like I say, I wanted to get these items officially, officially, officially decluttered so I can cross them off my inventory. And then when it comes to doing my makeup inventory in a few weeks time, my mid-year check-in, I know that I am completely up to date. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye guys.